Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel on this dark and stormy night outside so you might hear the odd clap of thunder but what a great opportunity to say well it's too rainy outside I am going to get some modeling done so what I thought I'd do is I figured I would talk about rebasing some Age of Sigmar models now I'm playing a game tomorrow at Imaginary Wars here in Calgary and I'm going to be using some of my Empire sword and shield guys. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to rebase them. I'm actually going to put all these guys on rounds. Now the technique that I'm about to show you is actually really good especially if the model's painted. A lot of people try just ripping them off of the square bases and what ends up happening is you just kind of break the ankles and if the model's not painted you can see the stress lines in the plastic and that's kind of no good. Now I've got a super super simple approach to doing this. All I do is I take my clippers and I clip around where the feet are and because I'm not going to use this base again I am just going to clip around willy-nilly and just try to I don't want to rip apart the base too much here see a piece of plastic? yeah! now we're modeling okay so I'll just keep cutting away here see a piece of plastic, just missed my eyes. I would suggest wearing safety glasses right now, which is uh, probably a good idea. And normally I would just hold it as I'm going here, but, uh, you know, film. So, that one didn't fly away. So what I'm doing now is I'm basically just trimming out where the feet are. Now, what you end up being left with is the base underneath the foot, but there's no stress lines on the on the feet. There's no issues that way. And there's a couple things I can do. I can actually just glue that right on top if I wanted. If I want to go the extra mile, however, I can take my hobby knife and I can just trim out around the edges. This is actually really good if, uh, and I'll show you an example in a second here, but this is really good if you've got, you know, kind of spindly legs or spindly feet or some kind of elf or Eldar stuff. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just shaving with my hobby knife off the bottom of the feet here. Uh, it kind of looks like they've all got running shoes on. Now, depending on the strength of your glue, it might just up and come off. Uh, but for me, I'm just going to take my time and just kind of shave it off. Now the nice thing about this is, is there's next to no stress on the model, which is good. And almost there. I can also use it to re-level if I had to, but I'm good for now on this guy. A little tricky. Very exciting stuff. Alright, now, got them all trimmed up. Looks awesome. I actually was successful in getting it kind of down to the the bare plastic there. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue him onto my prepared round base, just like that. So super duper simple. And what's really good is if you're using something like uh, this is a big one, the dryads, where they're super delicate on their feet. Uh, it's actually pretty good because you can clip around. You don't stress or break any of the toes or anything like that which is nice. And I've also got an example here. Now, this is an old base. I, you know, I don't mind when I paint the base anyways. But you'll see that I've left some of the base on there because it was actually a little bit work just to get these last little bits. I didn't want to glue them on. I figured it was already glued to the, um, already glued to the, the base all right. So I just glued that to the base and then I'm going to build gravel around it and sand and all that when I'm basing. So that's it. That's the super, super duper quick tutorial. And I'll be right back and show you what it looks like just for completion. Alright, so here he is finished. He's ready to fend off the last enclaves of humanity against the Chaos Hordes, the Orc Hordes, and whatever else comes his way. I love the round bases. I think it looks great. It's nice and polished. And he's ready to go. Now I just got to do another nine of these guys, and they'll be ready for my game tomorrow. Thanks a lot for viewing, guys. Please like and subscribe. There will be more videos coming soon. The next one I'm going to be doing is a grassland basis tutorial. So hopefully I'll have some theory in there and a bunch of other things. But thanks a lot for watching the videos and I'll catch you next time.